okay so for the water hammer pressure we need to at least um, solve or uh, know that the the basic parameters of uh, motor hammer pressure the bulk modulus of elasticity okay so we have this liquid compressed in a container has a volume of one liter at a pressure of one megapascal and a volume of 0.995 liters at a pressure of 2 megapascals. So we are required to calculate these two problems. So we have this for number one, calculate the bulk modulus of elasticity. That is just EB is equal to the change in pressure over the volumetric strain. Okay, so actually we can relate this from the topic of the strength of materials. That is the Hooke's law. If we will cross multiply this term here, this strain, actually this is the strain dito um, it can be relate to stress is equals to e times strain the Hooke's law no okay but here um, we consider the volumetric strain sa Hooke's law we commonly consider the axial strain okay you know we can express this into ganito so change in pressure is p2 minus p1 well, the change in volume is final volume minus the original volume over the original volume. Uh, that is negative since this is a volumetric strain. Kino compress natin yung water. So, this value here will be negative. So, negative times negative is positive. Okay? So, substitute. This is just direct substitution. But, ang, ang, kubaga, ang dapat natin mas bantayan dito is yung units niya. Okay? So 2 minus 1, uh, take note, this whole term here can be, uh, is um, unitless. Kung baga, maka-canceled out lang yun. Puro volume dito. Okay, so ang lalabas na unit di dito is naka, kung ano yung unit ng pressure natin. That is in megapascal. Okay, 200 megapascal. But commonly, yung ginagamit natin sa bulk modulus is in gigapascal. Dito sa water. Okay, so that is... Divided by natin ng 1,000, that is 0.2 gigapascal. For number 2, the coefficient of compressibility. So that is just the reciprocal of this EB. Or the formula is, is 1, 1 over EB. Okay, direct sub substitution lang. And that is, so the unit is, of, of course, the reciprocal of this unit. Ito, gigapascal to the negative 1. Okay, so another example. Water in a hydraulic press initially at 137 kilopascal absolute is subjected to a pressure of 116.28 kilopascal. Using K as 2.5 GPA, determine the percentage decrease in the volume of water. Okay, ano to? Percentage decrease, that means the um, volumetric strain or change in volume over the original volume. Ito siya. So, we have this formula. Take note that K is just the bulk modulus. Of, okay, sometimes kasi uh, it will be denoted as K or sometimes it is denoted as ganito. Okay, so by using this formula, P2 minus P1 over the volumetric strain. Ito yung hinahanap natin, this whole term here. And sinabi niya, determine the percentage. So we will express this into percentage. Cross multiply natin to. Change in volume. Okay, just we, we just cross multiply. Okay, times 100% natin. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag natin volumetric strain or the percentage decrease of the volume. Okay, so after this, um, okay, ano yung P2 natin? Ano yung P1? Will this be our P2? Okay, hindi yan yung P2 ha. Ito yung change in pressure is subjected, meaning ito yung change in pressure from point 0.1 to 0.2. So, our P2 here is just 137 plus this one, plus the change in pressure. Okay? So, basically, yung P2 minus P1 is already ito. Okay? Please do, don't misinterpret this. Baka magkamali kayo sa isa. Okay? This is already the change in pressure. Okay? So, substitute. Times 100%. So, we have this value. Okay, so, now we'll, let's go to the water hammer pressure problem. The elasticity of and dimension of the pipe are such that the celerity of the pressure wave is 956 meters per second. Suppose the pipe has a length 
of 1807 meters and a diameter of 1.1 meters and an initial flow of 0.59 cubic meters per second. So we are required to calculate this. So um, we will define muna the given parameters dito. So we have the C, the celerity. Um, celerity is the speed of the sound wave of the water. Okay, that is in unit meters per second. And we have this length. Then we have the diameter of the pipe. We have the discharge. Okay, discharge is volume per time. Okay, so that is basic um, parameters muna. So, for instantaneous closure, for number one, find the water hammer pressure for instantaneous valve closure. Meaning, masyadong mabilis yung pag-close natin sa valve. Um, ganito kasi yung principle niyan. Um, in a pipe that is uh, may fluid na nag-flow, pag close natin agad yung valve, syempre may effect parang may nag-hammer na pressure at that valve. Okay, yan yung water hammer pressure, kumbaga abrupt pressure kasi close natin yung valve sa pipe. Okay, when this happens, instantaneous closure, mabilis yung pag-close natin sa valve, the water hammer pressure can be given in this formula, rho CB. Okay, the density, then celerity times the volume. Okay, take note, we have the celerity and we have the density of the water, we don't have the velocity. So where can we find that velocity? We can find that by this equation, uh, discharge is equal to the area times velocity. So if we will cross multiply this, discharge is 0.59, our area here is pi over 4 times diameter squared, so we have the velocity. So direct substitution after this, dito. Okay. And we have this answer. Okay, so this is for instantaneous closure. Take note, my um, three cases dito. Actually, I define this as two cases lang talaga. Okay, but in, in general, three cases yung nakasulat doon sa notes natin. Okay, from the previous uh, videos natin sa ating... I mean, from the previous notes natin dito. Okay, so please take note of that na lang. Now, for number two, how much time should be allowed for closing a valve to avoid water hammer? Okay, to avoid water hammer, the time required is this one. 2L over C. Ito yung formula, okay? Nasa notes ito. Okay, so just direct substitute. 2L over C. We have the length, we have the C, 956. And ito yung time required para ma-avoid natin yung water hammer pressure. Okay, for number three, find the appropriate water hammer pressure of the valve if it is closed in four seconds. Now, ito na. May time na binigay yung pag-close natin. So, we have, it's called that PC, time to close. Then, ang gagawin natin is i-investigate natin. Okay, now observe this. Ito yung time na close natin. And this is the time required uh, para ma-avoid yung water hammer pressure. Now, as you can see, this is greater than T. Pag itong nangyari, look at this. Mas mahaba yung time niya sa pagko-close compared dito. Meaning, that this is considered as a slow closure. Kung baga, mabagal yung pag-close natin sa bag. Then, in if this case happen, yung formula natin is still rho CB. Okay, rho CB pa rin. But, we will recalculate the C dito. Yung celerity na gagamitin natin dito, pag slow closure siya, hindi itong nakuha natin or hindi itong given. We will recalculate that by using this formula. Okay, look at this ha. By using this formula, but we will use the time here as the TC. And if we will cross multiply C and T dito, magiging ganito yan. 2L over TC. Okay, the same formula dito. But ang gagamitin natin is the C TC na. Okay, cross multiply. Then we can substitute this C dito. Kaya ito yung mangyayaring formula dyan. Okay, diretsyo na lang natin. So, rho times C, 2L over C. Okay, ito yan. Times velocity pa rin. And we have this answer. Okay, so this is um, um, one case of the... Ah, uh, these are the two cases pala. This one, instantaneous closure and slow closure. Okay, but... Uh, if nangyaring mas maliit itong TC natin sa required time, this is a rapid closure. Kumbaga, mabilis siya. Okay? And that is also the pressure or the water hammer pressure natin dyan is ito lang. Diretso ka na dito. Pag rapid closure. Rapid 
or instantaneous closure, the same formula lang siya. Okay, wala tayong babaguhin. Okay, another problem. Water from a reservoir flowing through a non-rigid pipe, 550 mm diameter pipe with a velocity of 3.2 meters per second is completely stopped by a closure of a bulb situated 1,200 meters from the reservoir. Assume that the pressure increases at that there is no dump dumping of the pressure wave. The pipe has a thickness of 16 millimeters. Bulk modulus of the water is 2055 megapascal and the modulus of elasticity of the steel is 200 gigapascal. So we are required to calculate the sound in the water, velocity of the sound, or that is the celerity. Determine the maximum pressure. This is the these two are the water hammer pressure. Okay, so define muna natin yung givens. We have this diameter. We have the velocity. We have the length. This is 1, 200. Please take note lang. Look at this um, givens dito. Um, we have the thickness of the pipe. We have this um, bulk modulus of the water. CB, okay. We have this for steel. Okay, so compute the velocity of the sound. So, ang hahanapin natin dito is the C muna. Okay, so ganito yan. May dalawang cases yung pag-solve the C. For we have the non-rigid pipes. Our C is just ito, CB over the rho of the liquid. So, that is just, um, you can use K, no? Um, it's up to you. Ano yung mas komportable sa inyo? If K yung gagamitin mo na dito sa notation or EB. For non-rigid pipes, this is the formula. The same formula, but may additional factor dito. Um, parang ganito kasi yan. Kinukonsider kasi natin yung elastic property ng uh, steel. Kung baga, pag masyadong malaki yung pressure, pwedeng mag-expand yung steel natin. Okay, with respect to pressure. Kaya, kinukonsider natin yung elasticity ng steel. Kaya, may ratio ito na nadagdag. Okay, so in this case, may binigay na ES or sinabi dito, non-rigid pipe. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Or actually, pag mayroong ES, may binigay na ES, ang thickness ng diameter, ito na, yan yung magiging hint natin na, gagamit, na gagamitin natin ito. Okay, so using this formula, okay, substitute. Um, okay, so please um, be um, consistent sa units dito, ha? Okay, ganito yung gagawin natin dito. Yung EB natin is naka mega pascal. Always convert this to um, pascal. Okay, convert this to pascal dito sa itaas, yung EB. So, converting this to pascal times 10 raised to 6 kasi yung gusto natin kunin dito na unit kasi is meters per second. Okay, converting this to pascal. Then, dito sa loob dito, dapat unit unitless ito lahat. So, um, EB, dito naman, i-convert natin into um, gigapascal para the same unit siya sa ES. Kaya, 2.055 na convert natin to gigapascal divided by 1,000. So, uh, take note, this ES here is gigapascal, so yung unit dito maka-cancelled out lang. Okay, then multiply by 550, that is the diameter, mm. So, dito rin sa baba, this is multiplied by the thickness, naka-mm rin. So, this whole term here, yung unit niya is, um, can be cancelled out. Kumbaga, this is unitless. Okay, so we have the celerity, 1, 2, 3, 2.32 meters per second. For number 2, determine the maximum rise of pressure in KPA. So that is just when the valve closure takes one in one second. So we have the time to close the valve, one second. So ano yung water hammer pressure? Again, we will investigate. We will um, um, check the time required na walang water hammer pressure. That is 2L over C. Okay, and that is 1.95 seconds. Now as you can see, this is lesser than the time required. Meaning, mabilis yung pag-close natin sa valve. Or this is a rapid closure. When this happens, pag rapid yung closure, we, um, hindi na natin kailangan i-recalculate yung C. Okay, so diretso na. The water hammer pressure is rho CV. So, direct substitute. Ito lang yung um, tatandaan nyo. Rapid and slow closure. Pag slow closure, yun natin i-recalculate ang C. Okay, so we have this. Pato. Andito na. I determine the maximum rise of pressure or the water hammer pressure when the valve closure takes place in 5 seconds. Okay, dito na. 
yung TC natin is 5 seconds and that is obviously greater than the T. Meaning, mabagal yung pag-close sa bag and that is slow closure. Well, in this case, will happen na, dito natin i-recalculate yung C by using this formula. Okay? Ito yung pinakita natin from the previous uh, situation. Okay? So, direct substitute na. 2L over TC, we have this 5 and we have this Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, um, these are just the variation of the problems in the water hammer pressure in the board exam. Okay, commonly, ito lang talaga. Pag gets na to, oh, wala nang problema.